we're back. Let's see. They, uh, I feel like they honestly make it a little too easy to accidentally end your stream. Because that is all that happened. How's that? I think we're good? I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, I'm just chilling too. I'm gonna... Ah, this is not gonna work. option for a 90 second cushion uh no that's okay um if it's for mobile only then maybe i'm not aware of it but if it's like the stream disconnect protection i have that but i don't know i'm getting used to mobile i've only streamed on mobile a few times and i was trying to get rid of some menu and I accidentally hit back button and the stream ended. But I appreciate it. it should have worked. Okay, mobile is a pain. Yeah. It's alright though. Mostly I'm just kind of happy that I'm able to stream on mobile. Now granted, I could have been doing this all along, I guess, but... I tried to make my computer setup work for cooking, and I guess it did work, but this is a little easier because I can just be in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, what's up, Hillary? A bit early for lunch? It's true. By the time I actually get it done, though, it might be lunchtime. How you doing, Hillary? I'm in no rush today. I'm just going to chop some stuff and then cook it and then eat it and then that's it first it's time to chop an entire onion bing bing boom bing bing boom Chop faster? I don't want to. If Penelope wants to come inside, I'll be right back. Thank you for the bit, Hillary. Fifteen bits. Did it do something on the stream? I'm not sure if I was able to see it on mobile, but thank you very much for the bits. I appreciate your support. Hey, what's up, Manet? Breakfast, Bobby. Brunch, Bobby. Yeah, it. It's kind of a brunch, lunch type situation here. I'm cooking a lunch food. I guess he would say. But when I actually eat it, it is, uh, remains to be seen. It was a quiet secret bit giving? I doubt that. That's what they call <laughs> Breakfast brunch bobby is what they call me on the playground. Hey, breakfast brunch bobby! Can't decide what meal you're having, huh? Yeah, what a loser. <laughs> I don't want to be confined by your societal norms. 
It went on like that for years. Hey, what's up, Bielistani? Yeah, my eyes are bothering me just a little bit with these onions. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, QXP. What's up, Bielistani? Long time no chat. Thankfully, I'm not crying, but I can definitely feel the sting in my eyes. I'm gonna cook it right out of this eventually. Bobby is a cooking streamer now. <laughs> Lately, yeah, I guess so. Just been working the whole summer and got back to RuneScape. Nice. You may be uh, sad to hear I actually paused my RuneScape membership for now. I wonder if smothering in pickle juice takes the sting away. But do you put in on the onions or in your eyes? <laughs> Does the pickle juice go on the onions or your eyes? That's, that's a good question. I don't think I have any pickle juice right now. I have relish. But the pickle juice I had before, I used up. A few more months still at the current job. Is the job still going good? Oh, you don't want me to douse my eyes in pickle juice? Can't imagine that would be good. <coughs> I would try just tossing the onions in the pickle juice and then letting them sit there for a bit, but if we're actually pickling the onions, I guess you'd have to wait a much longer than a few minutes. After a few months, Elistani, do you have a different job or this job ends or... So hungry. I've been at the coffee place training new summer employees that are teenagers. And then once they kind of know what they're doing, you're going to do something else. two weeks and then new ones begin. Oh, okay. How's the coffee at your coffee place? Do you drink it yourself? On my way out to local arts fest. All right, Manet, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your local arts fest. Talk to you later on, and I will enjoy my brunch. Whatever it shapes up to actually be. Local Arts Fest, man. Your dipping contest has become an important point in RPG history. That pleases me, Hillary. I need to submit an entry. I love the dipping contests. If I could snap my fingers, I really do think a wiki would be hilarious. I'm sure 
you've seen a, a well documented uh, like fan wiki for like animes or something. It'd be funny if there was one for the Hillary RPG. How many sagas do you think there has been so far? We could start organizing by saga. We're allowed to drink it as much as you want. Nice. Or tea. Can you dip something in the kitchen during stream? Uh, probably. Yeah, probably. In fact, I have a slight idea. Alright, I think our onions are in decent shape. The last couple times I chopped an onion like this, I made the pieces much, much smaller by just like going bum, 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 like a million times. But, uh, I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to keep them a little, what's the word, bigger? What's that word, bigger? Somewhere between 100 and 150. Uh, sorry, QXP, I, I'm confused. What, what's it, is in that relation to? I already forgot what we were talking about. Been a manager at the coffee place for a few months now. While one or two days a week at the office. Nice, man. I mean, it's kind of nice to have some variety, right? I know all the times you've talked about your job before, you've really liked it. Do you still feel that way? I bet that you do. All right, well, there's an onion. Hmm. Got some mushrooms here. They're already chopped up, so let's just take a look at these. You like the variety? I would too. Hillary's, oh, ads. Oh, QXP, the number of sagas. Maybe you're in an ad, too. It's better. It's coming to an end in October. The whole job or just the coffee shop part? I probably should cut these up a little bit. Advertisements. Can't believe you showed me those ads. Sorry, Hillary. I don't have a way to uh, not give ads to Patreon members. Uh, QXP, you're talking about sagas, or was that episodes, 100, 150? Oh, Gimp, don't you just hate it when your cat wakes you up like this? Meow, meow. I actually can't hear that text-to-speech, and actually probably the stream doesn't either. Same reason as last time. I'm on mobile, and, uh, the text-to-speech is on the computer. But, what's up, Gimp? Good to see you, man. Tail and butt and face. QXP sounds like she is experienced in this. Bobby the channel point stealer. Last time I refunded Gimp his points for the same reason. Maybe I will do it again. Just maybe.
Mr. Stelio channel points. I thought you asked for how many Hillary RPG sagas. Yeah, but uh, maybe my understanding of the word saga is not right. Saga, I thought, was like an overarching like storyline. But when you said 100 to 150, that sounded to me like maybe the number of entries in the Hillary RPG. So I'm just not sure if I'm thinking of the same thing you might be answering. Forgot about that, not too much. You're well. Sorry for creating more work. I forgot you were cooking. It's mobile. Ah, it's no. It's all good, man. <clears throat> you <laughs> mentioned me twice. I'll take twice over none at all. And you're not creating more work because I always back up my VODs. And I save a copy to Twitch. And then I save a copy to a YouTube channel. So when I'm in there messing around doing that... You know, I'm like two clicks away from refunding your points. You wouldn't know. Um, Hillary, I was saying that uh, we could categorize our Hillary RPG wiki by sagas. And I thought like an anime, not that I watch much anime, that a saga was like something that took like a big overarching story so like maybe a saga might be like a you know six months of the show or something but maybe i'm thinking about it wrong because i also have no idea what i'm talking about easy enough to refund yeah it's no problem <laughs> there's the garlic is missing saga yeah yeah that was kind of a, a theme there for a bit What have you been up to lately, uh, Gimp? Hello? What happened? Are we back? Hello. Back? Thanks, Gimp. Oh, hey, what's up, Garlic? Thank you for the sub. 33 months. Man. Bobby's on my TV. Hello, Garlic's living room, potentially. You never saw anything change? Oh, good. It was only off for like a second. But this time I didn't hit a button, QXP. It just glitched or something. What's up, Garlic? Thanks for the sub. And what are you up to today, QXP? Hopefully you're not sitting in a 100 degree house like you suggested the other day. Yeah, Hillary found him. In answer to your question, not a whole lot. Finish another project you've been working on? Ah, what was that project? This is a lot of mushrooms, man. Mush my room. You were walking Marley. Oh, very nice. Little Marl walk. Thanks again, Garlic, for the subscribe. I like the number 33 because 3 is my favorite number and 33 is 2 of my favorite numbers. I like it also because it's an odd number, but it's not a prime number, but 3 and 11, which if you multiply it together, obviously, will get you 33. So I kind of, you know, don't mind that extra mental step to uh, think about 11 and 3. So there you go. Hill sent me another package, but I haven't even finished the video for the first one. Or for the last one, excuse me. Garlic, you better get your act together, buddy. Basically a bot for RuneScape 3 Clue Chaser. Oh, nice, Gimp. <laughs> QXP. So rude. Just kidding. 
couple mushrooms left. A rogue onion. You already found more things to send garlic? Doesn't say hi to anyone on the playground QXP. You missed a, a, a Bobby on the playground earlier already, Grove. When you were walking Marley. Breakfast brunch Bobby is what they called me on the playground. Where are my stickers? Um, I'm really close to doing it, Hillary. I'm sorry that it's taken so long. I'm uh, also going to include some for Brit, if you can give them to her the next time that you see them. Her. See see her and Joey. That will save me uh, some postage. Get closer. Yeah. Those mushrooms are going to reduce to nothing. Yeah. Well, let me tell you this, Gimp. I certainly don't know what I'm talking or doing in the kitchen. It's just that my tolerance for bad food is high. So pretty much whatever I come up with, I can eat and make it okay. Uh, except one time where I put way too much baking soda on my chicken wings trying to, quote, crisp them up. And it was like, it tasted like I was eating poison. And I was like, I can't, can't do this. So only one time did I ruin my meal. Britt has a bridal shower on the 27th. May, uh, that may happen, Hillary, we'll see. Bean boozled breakfast burrito? Oh my gosh. Never sends stickers, Bobby. Yeah. Tastes like poison. Oh man. There's this old YouTube video that someone says that and me and Garlic... We'll never let the inside joke meme die. Never. Alright, well, I guess I could just reuse this for the time being, right? They're probably not all going to fit, but let's see. Tabasco sauce tastes like poison. <laughs> hey, what's up, Weidenbach? Gimp doesn't know about wings, but for a lot of breaded foods... I like beer batter. Yeah, I think as a general rule, I like that too, but I, I don't think I've had it very much lately. Weidenbach says, nice to see you using onion in the ultimate lunch over garlic. Well, good, good morning, Weidenbach. Uh, I don't mean to disappoint you, but I am also going to use a copious amount of minced garlic. But it is true. I did chop an entire onion previously for me these days I mean garlic's number one in my opinion but lately I've been taking a liking to onions and I like to have them both more garlic every pumpkin has a something or other that was another one yeah that was a different old YouTube stuff Me and Penelo Pie went on a nice long W-A-L-K earlier, so she's just like laying on her side on the floor. And I had to spell it out because if I say the word again, she will think we're going to do it. Onions are good, garlic is better. All allium is good, it's true. Garlic and I are secretly the allium brothers. What are we making? I've seen mushrooms, onion, and garlic. Well, I'm not really sure what we're making, but you're correct that so far those are the three ingredients that uh, I'm screwing around with. Garlic and Frenchy D onion. The D stands for the onion. Garlic is smelly, but onions make you cry. Yeah, my eyes are... Uh... Bye, Hillary. Thanks for hanging out and thanks for the bits. She's going to miss the dip that I was going to do next. So I'm really hungry. So I'm going to take a pit stop. 
and uh, sneeze. Action! I'm going to make a little sandwich. Oh, I'm going to sneeze again. Sorry about that. Let's take this roll. I try not to eat much American cheese these days, just because I, it's not the best, you know, and I'm unreasonable, so I do everything too much, but my wife gets some of these for making grilled cheeses for herself and for baby G. However, this cheese she claims is, quote, crumbly, and it kind of is. And she does not like crumbly cheese. So, this ch crumbly cheese has become mine. So I'm going to make a little toasted cheese sandwich. So many better cheeses. Yeah, I mean, I... Listen, I eat plenty of cheese. But eating the one-off that my wife doesn't want anymore versus like a pound or two a week, you know, obviously... This is, I'm better off just waiting for the crumbly version to have to get rid of or something. And blah, 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 blah. Smelly garlic is what they call you? It's true. I don't know. Good enough, right? Let's toast this up a little bit. Penelope wants some cheese. Let's see. Mm. Yummy. Gruyere is probably my favorite, so melting in a sandwich. <clears throat> Eats leftover cheese, Bobby is what they call them. It's true. I don't like this cheese. It's too crumbly. I'll eat it. Don't worry. <clears throat> oh, I have an idea. This is amazing. It's very hot. If you eat too much, you'll regret it. I don't think I've had Gruyere cheese, or if I, if I did, I'm I'm not even saying it right. If I did, I don't remember. Another good cheese for sandwiches, if you're heating up the cheese, is Longhorn. I think it is. It's very stringy. That's probably way too much, but it's too late now. <clears throat> Spicy, yeah. Let's see how we're doing. I'm gonna try not to burn it. Oh. Sounds like a brand. What's a brand? Sorry. Longhorn cheese. Oh, maybe it is a brand. I thought it was a type. But, you know me. At all times, I barely know what I'm saying. So, a little detour here for... Uh... Oh, Longhorn is another name for Colby. Okay, there you go. I was helping my grandmother, like, Christmas Day. <laughs> Not on Christmas Day, but... Instead of cursing, I've been saying, like, holiday names. <laughs> Which I even can't do that, because now Baby G thinks it's Christmas every time I say, Christmas Day! 
Anyway, I was helping my grandmother with something at her house, and it was like a day-long project. We took a little lunch break for a little uh, grilled cheese sandwich action. And that's when she busted out the brick of Longhorn, she called it. And I remember it was the stringiest of stringy cheese of all time, and it was glorious. Glory behold. Anyway, Hillary needs a dip for the dip contest. <clears throat> Colby's definitely a good choice for grilled cheese. My grandmother is like probably the... She cooks like a very uh, niche style of food. So maybe not everyone likes that style of food, but she's one of the, probably the best cook I know of. I mean, she, you know, she never worked in a restaurant or anything, but she just cooked all her life. So uh, she always had the, the great ingredients. True story. So as far as dipping goes, we're going to dip a little Hellman's real mayonnaise. Oh, it's made with cage-free eggs. I always grew up with good food. Dad was exceptional in the kitchen. Nice. Mm. Probably pretty good, right? <coughs> oh, man. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but I've been a uh, little bit of a coughing man. Hmm. I thought it was from the onion. No. Now, granted, the onion certainly didn't help anything but the onions over here now so it's not directly coming up into my face all right well just another minute or so on this sandwich and then we'll make a little dipping clip Not going to put any fat on the outside of the sandwich. Um, no, I guess not. I don't even know what I would put on there. Maybe a little egg if I had that, which I do. Hmm. Maybe I should paint a little egg on there. Butter mayo for browning. How about an egg? Hey, thank you very much, Gim, for the sub, buddy. Appreciate it. No more ads? Ah, there you go. 
Thanks for the sub. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy the nonsense. And then we do a little bit I saw your twitch increase I saw twitch increase their price by a dollar really I bet that doesn't mean the streamers get more <laughs> I haven't seen that I'm really not sure you're probably right though a little paint in there I remember on mobile, it was always like a dollar more. I wonder if they just brought it to be similar to mobile, or if mobile also went up. Dip it and clip it. Dip it and clip it. Mobile is always more because Apple and Google charge fees for app purchases. Oh, okay. So, definitely not fat on the outside of this, but uh, a little egg. Huh? Interesting. Giving the sandwich a fried egg exterior. Yes, sir. And it doesn't take very long, of course. So, I think we're about done. All right. Let's see. Hey, what's up, fame? Good to see you, man. Fame in the house. Still recovering from a pulled muscle in my neck. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, fame. I am recovering almost fully now, thankfully, from a pulled muscle in my back. Is that a burger? No, it is a cheese and Jamaican jerk egg-coated sandwich. That I will dip, 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 dip. Dip, dip, dip. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, QXP. I appreciate it. Yeah, cheese didn't melt. Last time I did this, I burned the bread. <laughs> So I was trying not to do that. Whatever. Mayo mayonnaise. Mayo mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. A blowtorch. <laughs> Imagine that.
18 plus. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> now I'm not starving, so I can continue with the rest of whatever else I was doing. Now I'm peckish. It's true. I hope you uh, feel better, fame. That doesn't sound very good. Pork chops. I got three left. <laughs> oh, I thought I grabbed everything I needed from this kitchen cabinet, but I did not. Let me see if I can. Yes. 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 They made them like Minecraft pork chops. Yeah. They kind of did. I've never done this before, but I'm going to try it. Touch raw pork and then just wipe it, wipe it on my leg. First of all, probably shouldn't do that. Let's do a little sea salt crystal. Salt it on up there. Because if you're like me, you only want to eat the salt that comes out of the ocean. Which I don't, I don't know why that would be, but. Uh, actually, hold on. Lick the raw pork to make your immune system strong. I don't know what trigonosis is, but I think that's how you get it. So I guess I uh, will refrain from that. Then you find out there's a worm inside. Yeah, I'll, I'll cook it. That's probably a better idea. I'm willing to bet sea salt is a marketing ploy? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It probably costs way too much money to take water from the ocean, let it evaporate, and then also get rid of any other junk that's in it besides the salt. Yeah, who's doing that? Nobody. <clears throat> probably gold flakes in it and everything. One of my favorite song lyrics of all time. Garlic ninja you? Ah, garlic's too quick. But thank you both for clipping. Thank you, QXP. Sorry for the sniffles. Uh, one of my favorite song lyrics is... <clears throat> He's going to make a fortune panning gold out of a bottle of gold schlager. Trichinosis? What did I say? Trigonosis? Isn't an issue with pork anymore. You can cook pork the same as beef. Oh, really? Okay. When Fame was in Morocco, he saw piles of sea salt near the coast from a salt factory. So I know it's real, at least in some countries. When I said piles, I meant hills. Wow.
did recently find out MSG has one third the sodium by weight. They fixed that bug. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. Compared to table salt. Oh, what is, I don't even know what is MSG. It's time to smash some pork. Sound warning, this might be loud. Sound warning. This might be loud. Hey QXP. Sound warning. Give QXP 15 seconds. Metal, Metal Gear Solid. MSG is flavor? <laughs> what? QXP, QXP. I'm about to smash some pork XP. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Ready? I feel like I gave enough warning. Right? Edited perfectly. <laughs> That's more warning than we got during COVID, right? Sodium glutamate is a sodium salt of glutamic acid. MSG is found naturally in some foods, including tomatoes and cheese. Wow. There's salt crystals flying all over the place. Umami. Instead of MSG, you can do mushrooms. Right? Sorry, Penelope. Penelope didn't like that either. Just smashing some pork, Penelope. It's all good. Mushrooms have umami. I don't know if you saw fame, but I got mushrooms right here. Beating the meat. <laughs> Teenager drank a cup of soy sauce, went into a coma briefly. Yeah, mushrooms are pretty good. Not the trippy kind. I like those too. <laughs> oh, best viewers. Oh, okay. Too much sodium? I imagine. <laughs> All of a sudden, I actually need moderators when I'm on mobile. Go figure. <laughs> Haven't needed a moderator in 10 years of streaming. Until now. <clears throat> That's not completely true, but for dramatic effect, well, let's go with that. I'm gonna keep my pork pieces large.
Imagine having zero mods. Actually, I have two. Skunky and percolator time. <laughs> Large pork bobby. It's true. Hey, they call me large pork bobby. Down at the dock and on the playground. I love how the first result for MSG is Madison Square Garden. Man, that makes me think of like a UFC or a wrestling pay-per-view. I haven't watched an event like that in so long. I really miss it. At work, they call you Porcolini. <laughs> Try the Porcolini. at the dock get a little salmon hey my impressions aren't very good good way to get arrested yeah salmon with pork you better believe it they call me from the sea and from the land they speak to me <clears throat> you just had salmon salmon is amazing It's my favorite fish. Unfortunately for them. Surf and turf. Yep. More like trough and perf. Turf. Trough and surf. <laughs> Got it right on the third try. I like salmon pink in the middle. I like salmon raw, but I feel like I probably shouldn't eat this raw because I'm not a sushi chef and I don't know what I'm doing. All right, look at these nice pieces of salmon. <whistles> kind of getting in the shadow there, but. <clears throat> this is not fresh, this is. <laughs> as frozen as a February morning. Dipped in soy sauce, oh dude, I love it, I love it, love it. Okay, now, yeah, summer is uh, not good. <sighs> feet, free feet, dude. I think we scared QXP away with our pork beating. I hope that she heard the warning. You did? Okay, good. Your feet do seem free. No shoe jail. It's summertime. I ain't wearing no shoes. Half a cup water. All the mushrooms.
Am I making a sauce? No. I don't know, maybe. Um, what else? Oh. Water is the enemy of mushrooms. Why? How about some, oh my god. <laughs> I got a whiff of this right as I opened it. Whew! Look at the essence of the universe. Sprinkle. Drip. They already release water. Okay, good. Because I was thinking I actually need probably um, more than half a cup, but I'll let it let it ride. Boiled and boiled mushrooms. It's true. And as GIMP recalls, I am now a full-blown bullion cube user. You're gonna clean till your neck got messed up? Well, neck, like a pulled in the muscle in the neck, it's gotta be the worst compared to anywhere else, right? So, gotta rest up, my, my man. Bullion cube, bullion cube, give me a little bullion cube. Cube. Yeah, they're very good. <laughs> the other day I used some on a stream and uh, Gimp's like, look at Marco Pierre White over here. I'm like, funny enough, that's exactly who gave me the idea to do it. <laughs> I was watching some YouTube video of his from like five years ago or more. Bing! Until you start ASMRing into the mic. I'm not familiar with that, so it seems like I need to, um, seems like I need to, what's the word? Study up on some more Marco. I think you have to rig up something where you, like, hang from your feet from the ceiling. Uh, fame. This is going to take a long while to do what I want it to do. So, uh, what can I do otherwise? The pork and the salmon, of course. Mm. Clip that out of context. Yeah, get me, get me banned from Twitch. He gets all whispery and sounds like he's <laughs> reading erotica. Maybe for him it is. You don't become like a three-star Michelin chef <clears throat> without some passion. Okay. Now I think we just gotta wait a little bit. Oh man, my... Bet he watches 12-hour videos of onions being deshelled. Maybe. Smashing up the bullion. Yeah. It's a lot of water. <laughs> I'm just going to let this cook until it 
fizzles away. It'll get overcooked before the water evaporates. Guess we'll find out. We will find out. Meanwhile, Add some cream. It's a good idea, fame. But look, it looks so good. Let me drink it. You gonna come over for dinner, QXP? Are you a vegetarian, QXP? Or did I make that up? Hmm. No, it's all good, fame. You're an actual cook. I made that up. All right, sorry, I don't know why where I got that from. All I was going to say was that I will keep the meat separate. Uh, fame's an actual cook. I'm just some idiot that can tolerate poorly made food. So, you know, my wife doesn't eat anything that I cook, you know, as an example of what I'm talking about. Mm. Might need one more bullion cube. I ain't afraid of no sodium. Good ingredients? True, yeah. Like me some fresh onions. And, um... Mushrooms. Ninety nine cooking on RuneScape. That's your source of cooking info. I, I also have ninety nine cooking on RuneScape. <coughs> but it doesn't seem to be helping me. <coughs> Doggy. <coughs> she saw a delivery truck. <clears throat> she doesn't like them because it most likely means that a person might be coming near the house. Whatever shall we do? Well, in Penelope's case, she'll bark until they're actually nearby, and then she will run. She's only an alarm system, not a guard dog. But that's okay. It let's me know.
I burned my tongue on some of the mushroom stew. Okay, so then we get a little bit like this. Oh, get a nice little piece of pork with some American cheese on it that dripped on the stove. I decided to make a mushroom soup because of you. Nice, I'm glad to influence your life. I'm an influencer. <laughs> Mini ramen in a ladle. It's true, just missing a little noodle. Just blowing on it. <laughs> Yo, that was good. The pork is tender. So tender. Is that you that hates the term influencer? Um, you might have made that up. I don't think I've ever really like said much about that term. It is a silly term, but <clears throat> yeah, I don't think, I don't, I could be wrong, but I don't think you're thinking of me. Real actual Japanese ramen is the universal way. Oh, I can only imagine. Yeah, everyone's making stuff up. Maybe a little broth ain't the worst here, huh? Let me turn off the heat. Just let that go. <laughs> oh, you don't like salmon? Do you not like fish in general or just salmon? You can pick out the salmon and have pork. <clears throat> Grove is right. The word content creation, that's the one that bothers me. You don't like fish? My wife doesn't eat fish either. One time me, Peggy, Grove, and my wife went to a sushi restaurant. And um, my wife's happy to just get something other than sushi, like a normal cooked dish. But it was the three of us, me, Peggy, and Garlic, chowing down on raw food. Only my wife did not. Although she doesn't eat cooked fish either. Cod, if it's breaded, you don't mind. Regular people believing they're celebrities is how we get Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> what a what a situation that is, huh? Or was, I mean, it can't that, that's gotta be the end of it, right? But who knows? Ramen and sauce itself is like a complex combo of five broths. Wow. There's a whole bunch of, like, YouTube channels. You've probably seen them, Fame. Where they, like, follow some guy for a day in his work. And, like, there's a bunch of them where it's, like, ramen noodle chefs. And, yeah, it's quite the production. They seem to take immense pride in things that uh, other people would not, like, maybe I just don't understand fully, but, you know, nine out of ten times if someone works at a restaurant, like, what do they care, right? But these people kind of seem to care about the ramen they're making. QXP is not a celebrity. This is like the day I learned, uh-oh, I'm not going to say that out loud. It's still real to me. Oh man, that is good. 
Woohoo! She's trying to hide her identity. Yesterday I had a shirt on that my wife got me. It's like a silhouette of Bigfoot in the woods with a Santa hat on and a big pack of, um, like a Santa sack of gifts that he's carrying. Baby G was tickled pink by that. Yeah, same here, Gimp. I've only had better or worse quality noodle bricks. <clears throat> Are you using the same chopsticks you touch raw pork chops with to eat? Uh, yes, I am doing that. <laughs> Probably is a health hazard, yeah. That's really good. Hey, look at that. QXP had a, a gooey Santa emote all ready for the occasion. Oh! QXP, thank you for the 30 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Food poisoning? I should be alright, because I eat like this, you know, even when I'm not streaming, so... Made my own ramen before on stream. The noodles from scratch. Some of those noodle presses look amazing. Like seeing the pasta dough or whatever get put through the... Put through the, uh, the press or whatever. It's hard to go back. I can only imagine. Thank you again, QXP, for the bits. I appreciate the support. You should stream your uh, mushroom soup fame. Widenbach says, you should be good. I've seen you eat raw pork in Minecraft in the olden days. <laughs> That's right. Is that a mosquito? I'm not sure what that is actually. I hear it too. Something like turned on. Maybe it was the um, the air conditioning. Oh, it's gone. Okay. You might get poisoned or something if you eat raw meat. I forget exactly in Minecraft. Or. Or it like doesn't really satisfy your hunger as good or something like that. I think we're almost done here with the pork. Ooh. 
<laughs> yeah, at least they're sending the right message, right, garlic? <clears throat> All the flavor that was supposed to be cooked back into the mushrooms has come out. And now the mushrooms are just filled with water. Is that where all that water went? Still not bad. In my restaurant, these are $5 a piece. A slice of pork with American cheese on top. Mm-mm. Put a little aside for Penelope. should at least try to get two meals out of this right they would add soy sauce to this to make the meat look more saturated I was thinking that actually that maybe a little soy sauce would be ideal I do love the color that it gives it for sure If you wanted to make a sweet and sour dish, a little red wine vinegar and sugar. Oh, baby. I don't think I have red wine vinegar. I have, like, apple vinegar or apple cider vinegar in there. If you add sesame, see, sesame oil, add a dash. I don't think I do. I do have a little soy sauce, though. Kiko, my man. <laughs> you can Kiko, my man. Kiko it. Mmm. Pretty good. Not the best, I guess, but it's all right. Ooh, that that spoonful or that chunk was better. Little pork. It's 
salmon. When I mentioned the blowtorch, I would have slightly torched the meat in the pan. Yeah, that definitely would improve things, fam. It's probably best I don't play with a blowtorch, though. Garlic, what is egg day tomorrow? What is that? might be talking about a mobile game we play together, but I'm not sure what he's referring to. Sweet and sour pork chops. Oh, it's the birthday. Okay. Rocket buffs. Thanks, Gim. Appreciate the, the linkage. Watermelon seltzer. Fried food in a month. Checking out the deep fryer. Ooh, little calamari. Seafood's pretty nice. Scallops and chili. Oh, chili sauce. <laughs> I was thinking like a like an American chili. I don't know if it's American, but with scallops in it. I'd eat that too, though. <clears throat> Sweet chili sauce. There's this Chinese restaurant nearby that like is leagues above the rest. And they don't do anything, like, real fancy. They just have the standard dishes, but you're making me think of it. I like clams, mussels, oysters, scallops, lobster shrimp 
I haven't had too many opportunities to have uh, crayfish, but they're almost like shrimp, I think. As many scallops as you want. Oh man, that sounds great. Crayfish, sushi, dumplings. I went to a Korean barbecue last eight days ago. That wasn't seafood, obviously, but it was really good. I had maximum bulgogi. Crayfish is creamy. And yeah, fam, thank you for putting the links in the Discord. I'm going to have to switch over to a nice big spoon. Penelope wants another piece. I've heard of that as well, again. Never had it myself, though. Here's delicious. <laughs> yeah, if you watch people eat crawfish, sometimes it's not exactly an appetizing activity, but they seem to swear by it. for the check in them after the stream. It's gonna end in like not even five minutes. Appreciate you guys hanging with me. <clears throat> Gimp and garlic, thanks again for the subs <coughs> Penelope just scratched me looking for more. Actually there's a piece of pork I can give her. Uh also QXP and Hillary, thank you guys very much for the bits. And if I missed anything else, I apologize. I'm on mobile and I'm not used to it. The crayfish is split in two. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to suck all the sauce off of this before I give it to her. But thanks for the heads up.
When's the next game stream? Uh, I'm really not sure. Yeah, I'm just really not sure, unfortunately. Not even sure what game. I was thinking maybe Half-Life 1 to really make garlic wait for Portal 2 since that's a part of the orange box. Gaming's for kids. I'm definitely gaming less, but it's not because I don't want to. It's just uh, continually hard to justify the time spent. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> well, hey. Thank you very much, everyone, for hanging here with me. I have another serving <laughs> for either tomorrow or for dinner. And hey, what's up, Future Rush? I'm sorry to say I'm actually just heading out, but I made uh, uh, pork, salmon, garlic, mushroom, and onion mixture. And I just ate half of it. It was very good. It's good to see you, Future Rush. I was just thinking about you this morning, actually, thinking that uh, I've been spending a lot less time on Twitch, so I don't know if you've been streaming or not, but I'm glad to see you. Sounds like a shadow dish. I thought it was pretty good. I put a couple bouillon cubes in there, though, to really kind of give it some flavor. Just because I speak Arabic doesn't mean you have to call me after the sound of... <laughs> I'll just let that one go. But hey, thanks very much, guys, for hanging. Future Rush, thanks for stopping in. Sorry that we're just leaving right now. Fame, Gimp, thanks for hanging. Garlic, QXP. Uh, Hillary left to uh, be with Baby. You've been streaming? Okay, good. Thanks everyone for being here. Thanks again, Garlic and Gimp for the subs and QXP and Hillary for the bits. And see you guys next time. Bye. See you, future us. Take care, fame. <laughs>